All right, YouTube, we're here for round two of Legacy Challenge. We're up. We're 1 0. Our first round was against Bug Control. So let's see what we got here. This hand's like not that great because we don't have a threat. Like, we're playing against an unfair deck. This deck's really awesome. And like, because so the, one of the hiccups, I'm going to keep this hand, but a hiccup with it is I want to play Underground Sea on turn one to be able to spell pierce something. I don't want to play Polluted Delta because I would like to be able to fetch with it off my Brainstorm. But the problem with that is it lets me get Wastelanded. I think I'm going to do this because I have another land. And I don't want to crack my fetch land to interact. Are you talking about tw on Twitter? Teddy? Or Facebook? <clears throat> All right, nothing from our opponent. They're playing underground C. Okay. I think we're just waiting. Just brainstorming on their turn, probably the end of their turn. Fetching in our upkeep. If they spell pierce my brainstorm, I'm likely going to. Okay. I would say we're playing against a fair deck. So let's just ditch two of these forces. Let's untap. Crack this, get a Valk, and then I'm going to wasteland them and their upkeep. I saw what you, uh, I saw, I saw that you sent it. I'll check it out later. Thank you, Teddy. I have maybe one extra land. Like maybe I could have gotten rid of this. But like, if I have two lands and then like I wasteland them, they wasteland me. All of a sudden, I only have one land. With this, uh, with, with how my hand's set up, I'm pretty wasteland proof. There's a chance that we're not playing against wasteland. So, like, we're going to kind of feel bad. But I think it's worth looking, looking into to start at least. All right. Now I wish I had a spell. Oh, we're going to do this in their upkeep. Or if they, uh, if they brainstorm. This is odd. I'm just going to spell pierce this. Okay. This is an odd timing from them. I thought they would have done it end of turn. All right, you got it. I'm going to be able to untap, play Gurmangular around days. I think we're in a Delver Mirror. Why are they playing a double mirror versus control? I'm just snap dazing anything I can daze here. We have to protect the angler. I'd like to hit a blue card here. Lava man is not bad. One, two, three, four. 
So I could have, I probably should have played, um, I could have played a fetch land to do both, but I, I, I would like to try to blank days as much as possible. We have that. We, we're, we're potentially a little bit browned to a true name nemesis here, but if they land TNN and then we get Gurmag Angler down, at least, like, likely they're going to go... Uh, they're likely gonna... Oof. Okay, so now we're playing against Grixis Control. Unless a Delver deck plays Inquisition. Looks like they're gonna play their own Gurmag Angler. Yeah, so we're playing against Grixis Control. So we need a spell here pretty bad. That's a good spell. So I don't want to get, I really just don't want to get punked out by a daze. Because, like, I think we're playing against Grixis, but, like, I would just feel so stupid if I got dazed here. So we're going to play this, and then I'm going to waste them off of their red source. I think it is too, but, like, I would just feel stupid Delpha Strikes here, I'm going to Hurl. Okay, you got it. Oh, man. So now we have to end this game. All right, well, we're getting... I guess I was punished a little bit for not... Like, I could have delved one more... I could have had one more card in my graveyard, but we're still a fetch land away from playing Gurmag Angler. All right, now we have force plus blue card. And I'm going to force. I'm going to force pretty much anything that messes with my Gurmag Angler. If they force back, then I get to replay Gurmag Angler because they're going to edict me and then I cast my next one. What they pitch? They pitch a Snapcaster Mage deal. <clears throat> if we can get them down to Lightning Bolt range then I'll be super happy. Because, like, we can eventually claw our way out of this game. Like, even if they stabilize, as long as we can bolt them, then we have a shot. Because we, we still have, like, we're 44 cards into our, we're 16 cards into our deck. <clears throat> I chose not to shuffle. Okay. Like, we're 16 cards into our, we, oh, they didn't take up. So the last card's good. And it's likely a Jace or something like that, or Kologon's Command. Oh, we get to daze this Kologon's Command. That is so good. What are they returning? They're just making me discard a card and shocking me. I mean... I think it was wrong of them to do that. Like, I think they should have just... Ditched their Kologon's command and threatened to, uh, and then, because now, now I would have to attack a Liliana if they did that. And now this Liliana doesn't do anything. They chose to not shuffle off their Ponda, so their top card could be good. Now an Edict's fine, because we have so many live draws at um, Lightning Bolt, because they're at such a low light total. So, like, Really, we have we have a, like a pseudo. Even though my opponent's like a much better control deck than we are, we have pseudo inevitability because of a life total resource. If they were at four, this game would be completely different. But I'd be much more worried about our spot. Okay, so they bounce. 
You're gonna go bounce, bounce plus. But again, we're okay because we're at two. They're at two. So like, well, we're just gonna cast it. It's gonna go anyways. Like we could leave a fetch land around so they can't fate seal us out of the game. Maybe that was correct. But at least we make them deal with it Liliana via this way. They're brainstorming, okay. It's round two. I think my opponent should have gone Edict Fate Seal. Because, like, they have to hit Force plus Blue card. So they can have Force of Will. Okay. So now they need force plus they they can't even they can't even force plus blue card me anymore. And again, if they just jam Gurmag Angler here, okay. Alright, we're gonna leave that in hand. And now it's just like a waiting game. Like, we have to find Lightning Bolt, and hopefully, like, they're already through one force. And they have to keep up five mana. Like, they can't play to the board and still force my Lightning Bolt. Okay, so they're going to hit me. Maybe. No, they're going to ponder. But again, they're just dead to Lightning Bolt now because they're at one. So maybe it was correct of them to not use that brainstorm. They hit Gurmag Angler here. That's a little, like he's going to put a little more pressure on me. All right, I mean... All right, I mean, like we're we gotta hit lightning bolt. We have to hit lightning bolt, and they have to not tap mana. Them not tapping mana is probably not good for us. Oh man, it's so bad. So they don't have four. They're just dead. If we hit Lightning Bolt, we have to hit Lightning Bolt this turn. Should we fetch? Probably should fetch. Take it easy, Teddy. Dead Gone gets us out of the turn. Young Pyromancer does not. Oh, that's sad. We didn't see a Lightning Bolt in the top 23 cards of our deck. Oh, that's a rough one. All right, Bitter Blossom. Liliana, Click. Marsh Casualties. Blasts, or maybe Fluster Storms, like, meh. Dead Gone can go. Um, Spell Pierce is decent. Daze is decent. Force of Will is okay. I don't really like Gurmag Angler. Again, like Lawrence likes Gurmag Angler, but I don't really like Gurmag against the Jace deck. Lava Man is just something. I know I definitely want Bitter Blossom, Liliana. Casualties is like medium as well, so I don't think I want those. Bluster Storm is like, 
Cluster Storm counters him to Torak. But I think I'm going to want that on the draw. Though they're so expensive. Like, their whole deck's just so clunky and expensive that it might still be good. Maybe I just shouldn't have any of my forces. I have Fluster Storm and Click. I'm going to try cutting all my forces. I might also cut a land because they're not messing with my mana base. Yeah, I'm going to cut a land and keep a Force of Will in. I like cutting lands against decks that don't have Wasteland. I would like to play first. All right, we have Delver Days. Like, that's how we draw it up. Playing very good. Probably won't. If I have to daze, I probably won't preordain because I would like to be able to blast. Um, no, because I can still just blast a bail. I can still just daze a baleful strix. Are we gonna force this? No. Okay. Flip Delver. Come on, boy. No, that's a good one for it not to flip though. Like, if it's not going to. And I'm just going to jam it. I'm not going to hold up days and uh, blast on this turn. Uh, you don't have a sideboard plan. Just control and print off their deck. I'm going to start flipping with my sideboard plans. Good turns. No, I don't really have a very good time. I don't play Legacy too often. We're setting ourselves very far behind here. I could just let this resolve. I would like to be able to daze like a Liliana the last hope. I think I'm actually just going to let this go. Like, we can deal with it with Lava Man. I'd like to be able to day something else. Nice. Board match, I see your back. Nice. Because now we have Spell Pierce plus Days for, you know, like a high impact play. Let's preordain. We might be attacking with Lava Man. Um, put on top, put on the bottom. Yeah, we're likely attacking with Lava Man this turn. I should sure attack. Diabolic Edict. I will spell pierce this. I like to keep both my creatures. Blood Moon. Well, I will take Blood Moon, and then I will either Daze or... Um, I will Daze one of these plays, and then Blast the other play. He made Blast target Blast. That was a good play. All right, so we're going to lose our Delver. Maybe I was supposed to let that, um, let the Edict resolve.
Waste them. Um, keep their mana. And then we're going to wait because we want to blast Jace. Then I'll shoot this down. I might just start shooting them. Like, I'll trade two for two, probably. Turn around C. I'm going to daze because I would rather daze while I can. I don't want to put this in the graveyard also. Makes my uh, it also makes a brainstorm better. Just gives me another land to shuffle. Oh no. I'm gonna play the Valk so that I can blast. It gives them information, but I can go blast plus activate Lava Man. We're in trouble. Like we we are, you know, it's kinda like whoever top decks better. That's tough. I think I've got to keep going at them, though. That's a good shot. That's a good one. Brainstorm. <clears throat> oh, we can't cast our Liliana. Okay. So we're going to put both of these back. So we take seven. They go to four. Oh. I should have put Liliana back. Now I can get hemmed. We're probably in trouble now. Well, I think I just take their red source. Then I think I'm taking, I think I'm taking seven. The question is, what am I shooting? So if I shoot the Snapcast, I'm sure I take five. Play Liliana, tick up on this. Then they have to start messing with this. I think I shoot this Snapcaster Mage. I think we're no longer racing because of this Liliana. Tight game. Where are you going, bud? You going to me or you going to Liliana? Because it's three turns. This kind of sucks. We have to blast this Jace which could take a turn off of, like it, it makes it so we're now losing the race. We're drawing a land here, I think. Yeah. So we gotta go up here. I could have returned Delver, but then I have to block. Again, I'm not blocking. I think we're just going to go to one, and if they call around command me, they call around command me. Because they can just call around command this also. So we delver in the graveyard. Yeah. 
Wow. So they have Cluster Storm. I think we roll this down. Young Pyromancer. Play my land. No, we can't play Pyromancer and kill them. Shit. Shit. All right. Well, I'm just going to upkeep, try it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block and then try it. Damn it. Oh, I'd be in such a good, sh such good shape if I would have just. That was very poor on my part. Bolt you. All right. We got lucky, but that was poor. Yeah, that was not good. That was poor on my part. So, do I want... I probably want... Do I want my own Gurmag Angler? I think Gurmag Angler is so bad against Liliana the Veil and Jace. I could bring in my own Diabolic Edict. Or maybe just a random Force of Will is just worth it. I like my cards here. I like Flusterstorm even more on the draw. I think I want the Force of Will out of my deck on the draw because it's more likely that him to Torok resolves. So that means what's my next best card? I don't think I want, I really don't think I want Force of Will against the him to Torok deck when it's more likely to resolve. Because if I just get, if I have Force of Will and him to Torok, if I don't Force of Will to him to Torok and I cast Force of Will anyways, I'm dead. I could bring in Surgical. I think Daze is great on the draw. Like, they just tap out the entire game, Teddy. Like, they have, like, two, three, four mana spells. I think I'm going to bring in another threat. Yeah, I'm going to bring in one more threat. Okay. So we're not going to get hemmed on two. Well, we're not. We're definitely not going to get hemmed on two now. I think I'm going to lead on Delver of Secrets. Or I can just not do anything. If I don't do anything, then I'm worse against Baleful Strix. And they don't have Lightning Bolt. If they have Lightning Bolt into Baleful Strix, I'm in a little bit harder of a spot. But... The second Fluster Storm is not great. This also could be a blast. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, I would love to be able to snap that thing off. If this is a Thought Seize, then they could take my Spell Fierce and force through a Planeswalker next turn. All right. If they do that, I could be in trouble. If they take my Spell Fierce, I think I'm going to get Planeswalker here. 
Yeah, we could be in trouble now. We're kind of in a hard part because, like, if we cast, if we cast, like, if we go preordain into this, or we go flusterstorm, like, flusterstorm gets, we get beat up by Colagon's command if we tap out. They could also blood moon me. Which I didn't think about. Did not think about blood moon. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Now we just hope they can't do anything. Conceding to a way to kill this Lava Mancer or that. All right. I yield. Huh. So my opponent took Spell Pierce. The, that's bad against, like, my line of play is bad against Blood Moon. Let me stop my uh, video here.